this question has come frequently on my comment sections on different videos can i study and work can i work and study in qatar and i'll be answering this question today in this video so please if you're interested to know how we do it or is it possible uh stick around to the video until the end of the video and you shall get all the details that you want so hi guys how are you guys doing i hope you're doing amazing i am doing great and thank god i cannot complain and if it is your first time to be here please consider subscribing down below do not forget to turn on the notification bell that you'll never miss out any upload that we upload weekly so guys um I, I would want to tell you people who are just new maybe you're just joining us that on my channel so i have a, a folder uh, in my playlist of uh, studying in qatar so this folder has different videos of what you can study how much are they where you can study and all that so after this video after i explain everything it is good for you to go and watch those videos uh, so that you can get more 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 details than what i'll say here so i have in those videos i have explained things into detail can i study in qatar when i'm working yes so you came here with a work visa you came here to work it does not matter which position you're working in it does not matter where you are a professional you are in a professional job or unprof not unprofessional or <laughs> unskilled job you are in a skilled job or unskilled job uh it does not matter as long as you're having salary and you can get money and you can pay for the course that is what matters so I'll take you guys through the, 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 the steps of how you can do it. So uh, if you are working here in Qatar and you want to study, you are allowed. But if uh, you must have something like, uh, I, am, I am assuming if you are working here, you are legally here and you have a Qatar residence permit. So when you decide to study, you will search for the school first, which I'll be sharing with you before the end of the video. I'll, mention, I'll, I'll share with you one school that you can go and do your courses. Mm, and uh, you will have to have your Qatar residence permit. You Search the school first you get the school consult about the courses they have how much they are and you must have a residence permit qatar id you must have that so is it legal are you allowed yes you are allowed so some of these courses that you can do when you are studying here in qatar they are courses that uh, may help you in the future when you're trying to get other jobs when you're trying to change jobs for example let's say you came here with unskilled jobs like i did my first time i came here as a cleaner and we have people who came here as uh, helpers kitchen helpers um uh, we know um, construction workers, security guards, you know, all those unskilled jobs, many, but I've not mentioned all. Uh, you will also have those people who have come here with uh, professional jobs, but they want to study different things. Maybe in the future they can change their career. We have that. Okay. So what I advise you people is when you come here. You know, when we were coming here, we didn't have anyone to tell us. But now I'm here. I have learned the things and how it operates. And I will advise you to do it when you come here. Studying in Qatar is very easy and very cheap, very affordable. So some of these courses range from as low as 500 reals to up to uh, the 2000 reals depending on what you're doing okay and how long you're doing it and the other thing i would want to, to advise you guys is do not take long long courses just take short courses okay? for example you can do uh, nurse assistant you can do uh it basic it you can do um safety course you can do first aid course you can do you know fire warden courses you can do all those so when you start from small you will be able to get jobs here in qatar using those certificates so one thing about qatar is uh, mostly when you go to search for a job and you have your papers uh you will be you'll be advantage you'll have an advantage of getting a job than someone who is just going to search for a job and don't have papers and also not mention i'm, I'm also also get me correctly it, it does not mean that when you don't have papers and you go and search job you'll not get jobs but of course if there is someone who is ahead of you and has papers there will be take given the first priority okay so it is good for you to when you come here do not waste time first of all here in qatar we have and i, I assume in many countries many foreign countries also for us who go to work there or if you have gone there for work we have a lot of time to spare for example we work for eight hours other people work for 10 hours other people work for 12 hours when it's overtime but officially in qatar working hours are eight hours so for example me i work for eight hours i go to work at six and come back at two from two i am idle the whole time until tomorrow again at two 
uh, at uh, at 6 a.m. So you have a lot of time to do what you can do to change your life. For example, if you choose to do a course, uh, I will give you the, 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 the on my videos I have stated different kind of courses, and I'll do another video of the courses that you can do. Okay. So right now I'll not mention them one by one to save time. So uh, if you choose a course that you want to do, and uh, you feel like this is what you want to do, uh, approach the school, ask them how much is it. Uh, check different schools you know different schools have different rules and then also the, the good thing is that these courses you are doing you will have certificates some of these courses i have local certificates qatar qatar attested certificates and uh, some of these courses have international certificates that you can use in different countries all courses matter if there is no big course or small course as long as you have done it and uh, you have passed you cannot be able to search for a job even if you'll not be You'll not search for the job here in Qatar. You can use the certificates to get jobs uh, in uh, in another countries. The good thing is that you have certificates. If I didn't mention before, these courses have certificates, and you are able to use them to get jobs in different countries. Uh, so, as I was saying, we have a lot of time to spare. Uh, you can be, you can just decide. You'll be doing uh, something like that. You can choose a course. The other advantage of studying here in Qatar when you're working is that. If you do not have that time, maybe you are working at night and you don't have time to go to class, uh, we have online classes that go on. Like for the institute that I, I know of, we they have online classes that they do. And uh, these online classes, let's say it happened uh, du during the time that you were at work and you could not join the class. Uh, the lecturer or the tutor save the class on a video form for you and they send to you. Specifically for this institute that I'll give you guys to the, uh, at the end of the video, they do that. So you are able to study, you are able to work and you are able to get more uh, chances of jobs as small as you study. I know some people who have done very many courses here, like short courses they have done safety they have safety and in safety they have nebosh they have iosh i don't know more about safety because i've not done it and then you'll find others that have done caregiving they have done as assistant they have done first aid they have done fire warden they have done different courses and uh, they, they are just keeping the certificates and you know this is an advantage because by the time you are ending the day with all the certificates and then you hear a, a company hiring somewhere for a specific job and you have this certificate of course that's what you go and produce there and uh, write a CV and apply for that job. For example, maybe you may hear somebody in a different country who is your friend or family that they are searching for someone who has this and this and you'll have that certificate. It will be easy for you to go and apply for the job with that certificate. So do not ignore and there is no big cost or small cost whatever you do matters i remember there was a time that i wanted to change a company my company and uh, when i was changing there was a client who told me because i asked him i am leaving this job for another very different job and uh, he told me it does not matter every thing you do has a different experience of its own and let me tell you it does because i ended up leaving and went to another company with a different totally different job that i was doing but what i learned there i would have never learned if i ignored the the, the opportunity so as i as he said i will tell you every opportunity every experience it will work out you will need it in the future so yeah do not say there's a small cost or a big cost so now uh, about the the institute I know about many institutes that I have seen online, but there is this one institute that I have worked with before, which is Icon Training Center. So Icon Training Center is a, a, an institute that offers these courses. So they also have other like options of if you cannot do a whole like if you cannot attend the class every day every day every day they have classes like on fridays they, they will say many people are off on fridays they will fix classes of fridays 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 so if you're supposed to do a class for two months you will calculate those two months to how many fridays and they go like six to ten fridays for a course to complete and when you complete you will get a certificate. The other thing is that you don't have to go to the class uh, physically if you do not. You don't have time because some of us maybe are here, are house girls. Uh, they are. Uh, they are. Uh, they are in companies that they don't have. They cannot go out. Maybe they don't have day offs. You can do this. You can do it online. Study it online. Do the exam. Finish and then you get your certificate. This Icon Training Center will bring the certificate to where you are. If you cannot be able to go and pay for the money, this training icon training center will take, will come to you, get the money, pay the school fees, give you a receipt, keep it, and then you start your classes. Once you're done, you'll get the certificate and they'll bring it to you. So 
there's nothing that uh, would make you not do it. I understand that maybe some of you are thinking these things are very expensive, schools are very expensive. The reason I'm talking about an institute, because an institute is affordable for us. We have universities out here, but of course the university, uh, the university calendar or the university um, fee structure is different and a bit higher. So go for the institute. Whatever is being learned in that university is the same thing being learned in this institute. It's only, there's only a, a little difference but you'll end up being having the same knowledge with the other pe person who went to the university so if this is what you can do and do, is what you have access to use it do not ignore do not uh think that it is small just because it's an institute i've told you these certificates are certified if it's for qatar it is it is certified by the qatar ministry of education if it is uh, international it is international and you'll be you'll take it to be attested by the qatar so that when you'll be uh, apl applying for jobs outside country maybe it's not qatar they will see that attestation stamp that was put by the Qatar Ministry of Education showing that it's true you did that course in Qatar, okay? And as, I've, as I told you, you only need your Qatar uh, residence permit. And if you just came here and you have not gotten your Qatar residence permit, you can use your passport. As long as you know by the time you are finishing, you will have gotten your ID and you are here legally. That is all you need to have. So I hope I have answered your questions and uh, I have given more of than what you were expecting to hear. And I hope it helps you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. In case you have another question, as I have said, I will take you guys through the main courses that you can do if you are an unskilled person or skilled person that will help you get jobs that will pay you better in the other video. So let's go to the other video. Until the next one, bye-bye.